Okay, so I want to teach you today how to do the envelope game, the booking game, whatever you want to call it. And when, when I learned this at conference, um, what I found was when I started doing my shows, it raised the energy level up. And let's face it, it takes just as much time to do a low sales, low booking show as it does to do that perfect $1,000 show with three or more bookings. And when you have a great show, you want to go home and like clean your house and stuff because you feel so good after versus having a bad show and dragging yourself home, okay? So that's what the envelope game did for my shows, and I we have had so much fun. So I want to give you a list of what you need to be able to play the booking game, okay? You're going to need bags, tissues, and bows, okay? I have four today. I usually take four to seven gifts, okay? You need, in the gift bags, I'm going to show you what's in here, and y'all, most of this comes from the Dollar Tree, okay? So I'm going to take this one apart. Okay, so what I have is I have a just one of these little cups, okay? Inside the cup is a sample of the hand and body silk, a sheet like y'all have all been taught to do on whatever is happening this month as far as the hostess um, exclusive or hostess perk for booking a show. And this one I can have muddy up in it. So I've got these two things in here. And I also have a hostess packet and I have her a hundred dollar bill as part of the decoration of her gift. So those are in every prize, okay? Now you can choose to do these all the same or you can choose to do them separately I, or different ones. I like to do them differently because when I start doing the booking game, you're going to hear me say there's between a 40 and a 60 dollar gift in that bag, okay? So I usually do them all differently. That is your thing, okay? The next thing you're going to need is about, I'd say between 12 and 20 blank cards okay and you can also get these at the Dollar Tree they come in packs of eight okay um, on half of those cards you're gonna need to write not we're gonna do that in a little while but um, you're gonna need to write free gift on half of them and don't cheat on this really do half of them okay and on the other half it says host a girlfriend tonight then you need some sort of little container with samples in it, okay? You can use this, and this is not a sample of hand and body silk anymore. It is a purse size, because it's all about verbiage. And if you want to put the enzyme pill samples in here, you can, but they are not enzyme pill samples. They are now one week supplies of the enzyme pill, because it's a one application, okay? So that's what you need to be able to do the booking game, okay? Some other preparations. You need to have your calendar ready to book, okay? And when I say ready to book, sorry, Daisy. Um, when I say ready to book, your calendar has got to have very distinct places that you want to book a show. You see all those blank post-it notes? That is very, very important. I'm telling you this because trial and error, when I didn't do it this way, it didn't work right, okay? So here's the thing. You ever have any bags you take, you need that many post-it notes. But the first two, literally, or two or three, need to be literally so close that they probably won't book. Like if I'm doing a show tonight, I might have tomorrow night as one of my bonus nights. Now, I'm not saying you can't book tomorrow night because I have done it, but it's just not the norm, all right? So you do those. But, so the last three or four are still within your two-week time period, but they're more the dates you want to book, Okay. So do you understand what I'm saying? That it's very important that these dates that you've thought about them, okay? And double book or triple book or whatever, all right? So those are the things that you need to be ready to play the booking game, okay?